Uh, in this video, I'm gonna be showing the best places to grind for XP. Now, first of all, you could go in the grass and fight, uh, like go in the grass and just grind, but usually this is not very fast. So what you want to do is rematch trainers. Now for that, you need the VS Seeker. So you need to go to Vermilion City and then go into the center and talk to this girl over here. Uh, she will give you the VS Seeker, you don't need to do anything else. Yeah, and after you have the VS Seeker, just go to your bag and use it. So you use it, then, okay, this they don't want to battle, but sometimes these trainers will want to re-battle you. And the main way of grinding XP is just re-battling these trainers over and over. The first good spot is going to be the cycling road. So we'll go over here. And then these six trainers, this big cluster. This is actually a really good spot. Uh, all of them use like poison types, coughing, uh, grimer, stuff like that. So they're usually pretty easy to beat. Now, when you're fighting them, uh, the most important ones are these two over here. This guy gives around 5000 XP and this guy gives around 3000 XP. So just the two of them can give you 8000 XP. The rest are also pretty good, but they only give around like 1000, 1500 XP. So like, uh, you could battle them, but honestly I just like resetting until I get, yeah. So these guys are the main XP machines. So on your first rematch, they won't be that high level, but uh, if you keep rematching them, then their Pokemon will level up and then they will give you more XP. So I got 1700, 1700, and again 1700. So that's basically 5300 XP right there. And the bottom guy also gives 1500 and then 1500. So 3000 XP right there. So these are pretty good. They will help you quickly level up. Uh, but this isn't the best spot. I'll tell you why. Because like I'm, my Charizard is very high level so it's one shotting them but early on your Pokemon are not going to be that high level so you need to heal and the closest center to here is like you need to fly back to Celadon City, heal and then come back so it's not that great. So one really good spot for grinding is gonna be on one island. So you need to go to Vermilion City and then talk to this guy and come to one island. So this might be, I, I'm not sure if we can access this spot before the Elite Four, but if we can then it's pretty good. So just go up here. And then, yeah, these four trainers, they're really good. They all have fighting types, so you could use psychic type or flying type moves. And they have like level 50 mons, so they also give a lot of XP. So I'll just battle this guy, 1700 and then 2200. So yeah, all of them, like combined, all four of these give you about 12,000 XP. So it's a bit less than the cycling road. In the cycling road, all six of them give you 13,000. But there you need to de defeat six trainers. Over here, you only need to defeat four trainers. So overall, this is better. And after, if you need to heal, you can just go in here and just uh, go in the yeah go in the water and then you'll be healed so yeah my charizard's fully healed now all pp is restored so yeah this is a pretty good spot now the last spot uh, it gives you the most xp but it's a bit hard so i'll show you to you you need to go to seven island so it's not available uh, until you defeat the Elite Four and you need to complete the post game. After that you will unlock Seven Island and over here. So they're in actually pretty hidden. They're hidden pretty far away. So yeah, you need to go here. Just keep going to the right 
and then going down yeah these two trainers they're ace trainers so they have like a variety of different types in their team so usually you won't be able to like just one shot them unless you have a really high level Pokemon yourself so yeah let's just fight this guy over here so they give a lot of XP so right on I'll just play and throw 2200 just from one then yeah so this is a bit tough because uh, none of my moves are super effective so like they have a different like wide variety yeah so it might be a bit tough but like every one of his mons give you like 2000 xp so like this one guy alone just gave me 10,000 xp and this other girl she also gives around like 9000 xp so 9000 or like 10,000 xp Uh, let's see if I get to fight her, yep. 1600, then... 2000... 2000... Uh, he died. Uh, so these, my other ones won't receive XP because they're level 100. Uh, but anyways, she also gets like 10,000 XP. So like only fighting these two trainers, you can get 20,000. So this is like the most XP you can get from any two trainers. Except maybe like the Elite Four, but grinding the Elite Four for XP is not fun. So over here, if your Pokemon faints, you can just come back to him, talk to him. He will do the Chansey Dance. And after you do the Chansey Dance, you will just be fully healed. Yep, so fully healed. So in order, the best spots are the route 16 cycling road which gives 13,000 XP then also one island which gives 12,000 but you can heal there and lastly over here in seven island which gives 20,000 and you can also heal here so like after getting like level uh, 70 80 on your mons on one island I like to come here and then grind up to level 100 Or you can just uh, grind in one island for level 100 uh, anyways so obviously like there are other methods uh, there are other items you could use to level up so first off you obviously could use the XP share uh, let's, let's see if I have it with me yeah so XP share so if I give the XP share to one of my mons then they will receive XP even if they don't fight so I'll just fight in the grass and then if I defeat it then my Charizard is going to get XP. So this is really good for leveling up uh, like from when you're like only level uh, when you have a new mon that's only like level 5 or level 10. So the way you get this is you have to talk to one of uh, one of Professor Oak's assistants. So you need to go to Fushia city. Uh, yep over here and then you just go to the right go to this building and then take the stairs so over here you need to talk to him he will give you the XP share but first you need to catch like 50 different mons in your decks so like whenever you catch a new Pokemon it will be registered so over here it says under owned I have 90 so I need to have a minimum of 50 after that he will give me the XP share so that's really useful for early leveling. After that, you can uh, just use your, uh, you can abandon the XP share and just level up with that Pokemon itself. Okay, so another item that would be really useful is the Lucky Egg. So the Lucky Egg will boost the amount of XP you get by 50%. So it's really good, but unfortunately the Lucky Egg is really, really, really difficult to get uh, okay, it's not that difficult, but it's gonna take you a while. So what you need to do is go to the Safari Zone and then you need to go to Area 3. 
So the best way to go to area 3 is go up from here and just surf up and okay not here and just go up. So this is area 3 and then after you come here you just run around and look for Chansey. So I'll just get on my bike and look for Chansey. So I'll, uh, since you can't save your game here, it's like you have to keep coming back to the safari zone. Like just keep looking for Chansey and uh, Chansey has a 5% chance to hold a lucky egg. So yeah, it's gonna take a while. Even with speed up, it's gonna take a long while. So if you're, spell, uh, if you're playing on cartridge, it's gonna take even longer probably. So it's obviously not mandatory. Oh, I got a chance. So let's hope I catch it. So there's actually a strategy to like increase the odds of catching because there's a high chance this chance will run away. So I don't really like I don't remember the strategy, but I will link it down in the description. You can see there's a really good video on it. So I'll just throw balls and hope I catch it. Uh, just throw balls. Ah, it fled. Okay, finally, it took such a long time, like even with speed up, it took like, I would say around 40-45 minutes, so like without speed up it's gonna take a long time. So finally we got this chancy and it's holding the item Lucky Egg. So yeah, here's the box of chances, I caught like 7. But like more than half of them just ran away. So like, yeah, I, I encountered like 15 and I got one. So I guess I was a bit lucky since like the chance of uh, getting a lucky egg is only 5% uh, if you manage to catch the chancy. So on average you'd expect one lucky egg every 20 chances you catch. So I got one on my 8th chancy, but still it takes a long time. So I'm now going to demonstrate uh, what the lucky egg does, so I'll just take the lucky egg from the Charizard and then fight like this trainer over here. So I get 1800 XP and 1300. So if I give my Charizard the lucky egg now. Yeah. So I got 1800 last time. I got 2800. So I got 900 more XP. And 1300 from this guy. So 2000. Yeah, so around 700 more. So, like, yeah, it gets you 50% more XP. So, like, getting it for the first time is like getting the item is so hard. But if you're planning on leveling up, let's say, like, a lot of mobs to a level 100, then you really need this item to level up quickly and then lastly one other thing so if you have a traded mon okay yeah so I got this Gyarados that I traded from my leaf green save so one benefit of trading is that he will also be getting bonus XP So this guy, this Spiro gave 1800 the first time and now it will give like, okay so I need good move sets on this first. So I'm already getting a boost at 2800 XP, so like if you trade you already get a 50% boost. So the advantage is if you have like a lucky egg on top of that then you'll be getting even more XP.
So like this guy is gonna give me a lot of XP. 4200 XP just from this guy. 3000 XP so I'm getting like 100% more XP. So like rem remember the uh, trainers on 7 islands so they used to give 20,000 XP but if my Gyarados defeats them he will get 40,000 XP. Like this is a huge boost. But uh, this only works if your Mon is traded from another save file. It won't work uh, if you like breed or like if you catch them in your own save file. So just under its description the original trainer OT needs to be someone else. So you can also like manage two save files at once and then trade in between them uh, to make leveling up really easy. But uh, just using a lucky egg is more than enough in my opinion uh, Anyway, so that's gonna be it for this video. This is a pretty long video, but it's got all the information you need